today I am with Ramona Singer from Real Housewives of New York. Very excitingly. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Well, a pleasure to be here. And we are here to talk about all things Real Housewives, obviously, but lots also of lots of gossip, all of the gossip. Should we I want trash it all. anybody? Uh, we should trash everyone. <laughs> that's my favorite thing up. to do. Let's do both. We trash could do both. Build yeah. up, build up you trash. build them up and then you break them down. That's the best way to do it. And we're also here to talk about your ventures outside of Real Housewives. So we have the thing that I'm most excited about, your wine, which now comes in a can. Uh -huh. So tell me a little bit about the wine, first of all, mainly because I want to kind of crack into it. And well, try you it. know what? Things evolve. You know, I got yep. divorced, I'm single, and when I go home at night, I really don't like to open a full bottle because I basically like to drink a glass, glass and a half. Okay. So now, a Lila in the can. Nice. Glass and a half. Easy to transport, stays fresh, and it's sealed with something very magical inside so that it retains the taste and flavor of the wine. So you don't get like so, canning like a wine? wine? Would like I would love to. Pedrisha? Can I have the rosé? I'm a, it's summer, I, I need my rosé. I have rose. I'll let you have the rosé. Like, that's very, that's that's very generous And I also do a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, and it comes to, they come in packs of four. Packs okay. of four, so it's equal to a bottle and a half. Because, you know, let's face it, don't you always, you're a restaurant, you'll order one glass of wine, and then you say, okay, let's put the second one or something. Now you have your one and a half glass. Well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's delightful. And not a single, like, there's no taste of can in there at no, all. No, it's just delicious wine, yeah, right? It just you like tastes, the rose? I do like the rose. Smooth. It's from Provence, too. It is, and it, there's no kind of, like, you know, nasty aftertaste or anything like that. You it just tastes me, great. I don't like an aftertaste. No, I mean, and who the does? Who does? Mm -hmm. Of course, it's from Italy. Mm. Now, I have to ask, obviously, mm. with the wine, yes. a subject of kind of contention on Housewives recently has been between Bethany and Sonia. Right. With their, like, wine battles right is that something that you've ever had an issue with with bethany like has she ever kind of come after you and been like oi wine's my thing what are you doing no, well actually no because um bethany first started with um the skinny girl margarita and i then developed the wine and then later when she was bought by uh, jimmy bean they expanded into vodka and wine and you know what it's fine okay so you're not like actually you're copying me quit with your wine no i mean there's so many people who produce wine and you know right. mine is very um my wine's from Italy. I don't believe hers is. Hers from California. Okay. I like, I like um, my wine to be from the areas that it's known for. So uh, obviously, Provence area uh -huh. in France is known for the rosé. Yeah. Um, Italy, the Veneto region, is known for the Pinot Grigio. Okay. New Zealand is known for the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. So I like to be authentic that way. Okay. And has, have either of them tried to drag you into their like <coughs> you know argument? What? Um, I would go in separately. I decided. Okay. And you see that on the show where, and maybe I don't know what parts were filmed or not, but I actually said to Bethany, I don't think Sonia meant to, you know, to hurt your business or hurt right. your feelings. Because I, I explained to Sonia that Bethany looked at it as like her baby. This is something right. that she created. I mean, Bethany came from nothing and partnered with somebody who helped her build a fantastic brand. And you know, she went, it's like you're protecting your family. Like, don't don't right. step on my toes. Right. You know, keep your distance. Right. So I understand that. Are you gonna go to the Tipsy Girl restaurant opening? Do you think? We you go know, show your support. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have enough going on with Lila. I was gonna say you've got your own wine to do. <laughs> and my daughter. Yeah, and, you know. of course. And actually, okay, so we actually had a conversation with Luann very recently, who told us all about her wedding. Oh, lovely. Is that something that you would want to go to? You know, I'm not sure. You know, it's it's quite a ways off, isn't it? A good eight months or so? No, she said New Year's Eve is well, when she's going to get months? married. Yeah, that's well, so, yeah, six I, months. Listen, I can't even plan next week, let alone six months. So what can I tell you? Do you think it would be awkward, like, having all of the housewives there? Because Tom has history with... Well, a lot of y'all, you know, like Tom. I mean, he and I, we, we just, you know, there was really no attraction there. I liked okay. him as a person. And, okay. But, um, you but know. So and you'd be fine. You'd be like, whatever. Yeah, well, you're going to see a scene, actually. Uh, it'll be very interesting coming up near the end of the season. Okay. Uh, the scene, Tom, with uh, myself and Sonia and Wayne okay. and Carol and all the girls. Okay. And how, how does he fare? Oh, well, you know, he's quite a flirt. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't say I'm too surprised about that but they really? go really why aren't you surprised well because just having i mean the guy the guy's done the rounds hasn't he really like he has history with a lot of our housewives i mean right, but i had i had no clue no right, clue okay. at all that he had gone out with sonia had i known that i never ever would have dated him no. and is that a rule that you have in general like don't well, go near your housewives exes well if you're my girlfriend why would i want to right. go where you went right or where you're still going oh yeah no that's not oh, oh, that's not me that's not pleasant for anyone no, i guess <laughs> Okay, so away from the housewives, you obviously have got 
We've got commentators cackling in the background. If you can hear that noise, that's that's Sean over here. Um, oh, would you do that? If you no. Met a oh my God, no. But I mean, <laughs> maybe when I was like at school, and you you know like. I mean, Sonia and but Louis, not... they claim like Louis claims she's best friends with Sonia, and they were like lovers, Tom and her for years. Yeah, that's. I mean, well, how does Sonia feel about it? Like, well, she she's, she was not quite. She was she's not, not very happy. happy. No, well, you have to watch the show to see what happens. Okay. It's a, there's a whole big scene about that. Okay. I mean, Huge. the show has been like. The most recent episode was uh, about the breakdown of a marriage. So it's ironic that Luann's like getting ready to walk down the aisle and all that kind of stuff while Jules's kind of whole personal life, shall we say, is going up in flames a little right. bit. Like yeah. I was, that was quite shocking like to see her like that. I mean, she's, she's kind of going a little bit mad, right? Like that whole pizza making thing, she, well, she didn't was, seem like she was with it that um, much. Well, you know what she did, she really hurt herself Right. Um, she fell on something right between her legs, like hard. And okay. She had a, a knee between huge, her legs. Yeah. And it basically blew up like 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 horribly, and, and blood and and bruises and pain. So she was on a lot of painkillers that okay. night. Okay. So I don't think she was quite herself. Right. And is that I mean is that worrying to see like as her friend, kind of someone who's going through what's obviously a really emotional and like trying time. You know, you never want to see anyone that you're close to or friendly is going through a divorce or. A bad time in their marriage. It's just, it just takes a lot of toll. I mean, especially she has two young children. Of course, yeah. So they're, um, they're like three and five. I think, yeah, yeah, very young, and it's just. I mean, I think it's it's difficult to raise children with um, a partner, a husband right. or a wife, let alone being single. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine the, the stress that will cause um, each of them. And did you have any idea, kind of during filming, before it all came out that their relationship was breaking down? Did you kind of think like, uh oh, things aren't. Where you know, the, the only thing I ever said was, it was before she even joined the show, I took them to a party with me. Mm -hmm. And we're at a wonderful party with great music and dancing and food and people. And he was constantly on his phone. And right. I'm like, why is he texting? Who's he texting? Well, now we know. Well, I mean. And do you think it has any, like, do you believe, obviously people like to kind of say, do you believe that there's a housewife's curse? Well, you and know, that, I was actually why. misquoted. I, they, I had said that 50% of all marriages fail. Right. And someone quoted me 50% of all housewife marriages fail. Okay. But in the world, 50% of all marriages fail. Okay. Um, you know, maybe sometimes the pressure of filming, maybe it brings things more out. I, I know, I right. don't know. I mean, it's, it's a very interesting question, but I think, I think whoever has problems in their marriage, they still would have been there whether they filmed the show or not. Maybe they would have taken longer to blow up, but I still, still think they would have had the same situation happening. So you just think that maybe being in front of the camera like concentrates it more and- It, it, it makes it, it happen quicker. It, it speeds right. up the process, yes. Okay. Do you want to place bets on Luann and Tom's marriage? No, you know what? <laughs> I, I have learned in life, especially like with Durinda and John, um, I, I, they're happy and you know what? If, if, if Tom and Luann are happy, I mean, God bless them. Happiness is hard to find, and, and if they are that happy, they're getting married, I think that's very exciting for them both, and I'm actually happy for them. Well, and speaking about happiness, you, at least to me, you've kind of come across as like the voice of reason. I know. In recent episodes. Well, you know. Um, it's like, a whole new Ramona. Like, I know, I, you know, I know that, you know, you've got that inner crazy person, as we all do, but this, in like the most recent episodes in this whole season, you've been like the, the rock, you know, the person who's right. providing advice and like, sensible you but know. you know what that really is my persona I think that when I was filming I was under unbeknownst to me I didn't ever realize it how much stress my ex-husband brought into my life right um, he, he was a great father and husband in so many ways but I didn't have a true partner I was doing everything I mean right. everything right and that was stressful okay and now that you kind of I mean you know you're, you're single like you said you've got your glass and a half of wine in a can to yeah. enjoy in an evening I mean are you happy is everything good? You're feeling like. Well, what do you think? I mean, you look happy, and like when People I said you I'm walked glowing. in, you look great. You're so tanned. You know, we've got the long weekend ahead of us, and you know, a lot of sunshine. Hopefully, if the weather holds out. Right. I mean, so is that you? Kind of, you're you're good. You're in a good place. Yeah, no, you know, I I really this is you know, I think because I've been married already and I have a child and I've been successful in my career and I still am that I don't have that pressure when I was in my 30s, like, okay, am I gonna find the right guy to marry? And will right. I have a child? It's like, okay, I've done that, been there. Right. And now it's like, whatever will happen will happen. And it's okay whatever will happen because, you know, I'm happy with me. And I have right. really great friends that are married. And I also have new great single friends. Uh, I have these great guy gay friends. Okay. I'm now starting to have some now great single guys that I'm dating. Nice. And you know what, I, I'm, it's okay, it's okay, okay. all's okay.
And now, life is good. Bringing it back to the, the, the Lila, when mm. you go on a night out with your single friends or your right. gay friends or your single guy friends, is wine your drink of choice? Is that what you go to when you're on a night out? Yes. I mean, okay. sometimes I may start with a cocktail of okay. um, vodka or tequila with lots of um, club soda and um, lime and ice, and then I keep adding more club soda. Okay, yeah. But I do, yeah. I, I do like my wine. I mean, last night I had a great bottle of, um, oh my gosh, I think I got pregnant on it with Avery. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, why am I having a memory loss? Margot, mm. a great bottle of Margot. Actually, uh -huh. this gentleman, okay, I was at a restaurant with my oh girlfriend. Oh, yeah, here we go. I was like, okay, this is nice being single. So I came in, I see this really nice-looking guy across the table, very handsome. Do you lock eyes across the room? I don't know, we just kind of, I don't know if we locked eyes. I just said, oh, he's cute, okay. he's handsome. Okay. So I just, that's why I said to myself, he's handsome, and I, I had my back toward him. All of a sudden, a few minutes later, the waiter said, excuse me, there's someone who'd like to buy you both a glass of wine. I go, great. Okay. And then um, I went over and thanked him, and that was when... Um, I noticed Luann was there too <laughs> with Tom. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, um, but my girlfriend had noticed, I guess, all along. So now I go back to the table, and like maybe a half an hour later, he sends over a little note and he says, um, I would really like to buy you um, an after dinner drink when you're finished with dinner at the bar, if that's possible. So, me being friendly, I just walked, just looked at him because he was at the table. I just said, oh, Come on over. And then he, what he found, I like wine. He goes, well, you know, I have this great bottle of Margot, Chateau Margot. Okay. And I was going to take it home, but hey, let's have it, ladies. Like, okay, thank you. He sounds great. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, did you get his number? Are you going to? He got my number. He was a gentleman. Oh, like my gentleman. God. I was going to say that's very gentleman you know? Oh, and then the funniest thing, <laughs> my girlfriend told me that as soon as Luann spotted me, she was like hanging all over Tom and, and you know, draping herself Are on and kissing him and playing with his ear. Oh. She said he wasn't, she wasn't doing that for half an hour. And as, then soon as soon as she, as she noticed me, she started like, I got I mean, she's, mar she's marking her territory, him. isn't she? She may as well pee on him. Like, but my I don't goodness. want him. I dated him. He was nice. Not for me. You know, okay. there was no attraction there. So, you know, God bless her. God bless him. But okay. They can do that thing. You don't need to see yeah, it but I don't know why she done had in to, public. Yeah, but I don't know why she had to do that. But maybe she's feeling insecure. Well, you know, I think every woman goes through it, don't they? That little bit of insecurity. But she we should be secure. She's marrying him. So come on. Are you kidding me? Well, you think, like, she's got the rock on the finger. We've all seen it. She's, you know... It, Dazzles you in the eye every time she moves her hand. Yeah, but she you. hasn't had it appraised yet, so we don't really know what's in there. Oh, so you think it might be like oh, a, cubic, a bit of cubic zirconium <laughs> in there rather than a diamond? <laughs> okay, so aside from the wine, I mean, we all have a heavy night out on occasion, and we drink a lot of wine, and then in the morning we wake well, no, up. The important thing is, okay. this is what I always do, because you have to always be a lady, and you always have to be in control when you're drinking. You can't lose your control. Okay. So for every glass of wine, two glasses of water. Two glasses of water, mm -hmm. okay. Because you hydrate, which keeps your skin looking good. Okay. Besides using this, of course, which makes your skin good, but right. water, lots of water. And uh, you don't ever want to drink too much, because when you wake up, not good, but you know, you just, yep. it's not a good thing to drink too much. Well, so that's what I was going to say. So you, you're now doing skincare as well. You're working I've always been this. I've always been involved with skincare. Okay. I'm a big skincare person. Okay. And I've tried a lot of products. I even actually did my product at one time. Uh -huh. But it takes, you know, but what's great about this company, it's like two dermatologists who are really famous for doing proactive. And this is all pharmaceutical ingredients. Okay. And the best part is, if you don't like it, you can return it. Empty oh, bottles it after 60 like days. But your skin will change. I mean, look at my skin. Does it look better than ever? You look baby. So, yeah. I mean, and I, I love a lot of skin, but this is the best out there. The best. Okay. I mean, they're, they're approaching a billion dollar company internationally. Christ, so I can I get involved? Yeah. So <laughs> I decide after using it, I'm going to be a consultant. So right. Okay. Which means that I have people. So if, they right. be a, if you want to be on Team Ramona and work with me, and I'll mentor you. And what are you? Contact me, RamonaSinger.com. In terms of kind of like, because obviously being on the screen, mm -hmm. it must be, you know, when it comes to like personal appearance, there must be a little bit of anxiety there. If I had to see myself, I mean, even when I watch Facebook Live videos, I get nervous about seeing myself. Is that something that you've learned to kind of be more comfortable with as the seasons have gone on? You know, I've never been nervous to see myself. I mean, I think, well, actually the first season, my hair was a freaking mess. It was a definitely a mess. And my, even my hairdresser said, if you're going to do anything, make your hair look good. So I learned now how to use the tools to make my hair look pretty. So, um, and then makeup. So it's just all about, you know what, I know my regimen. I do my makeup and hair, I swear to you, within like 30 minutes. So I don't care if it's a black tie. I mean, I got ready okay. here 20 minutes with the hair, makeup, nice. boom, done. Myself, I did it myself. Okay. I can give you tips if you want. So, so um, do I need them? No, I said, if you want. You know, extra tips. Okay, extra tips on top of what well, I already have going on. Well, I think you could use a little more mascara on top. Okay. Do you have mascara on? I do. I have very short, stubbly eyelashes. They're awful. Well, you know what I do now? I do the extensions. 
They see, they look great. They last for six weeks. I do really, they not I like love them. bash up against your sunglasses? Though? No, like, no, no, they're great. They're so lengthy. They look amazing. No, I love them. But yeah, I feel like I would. I don't know because my eyelashes are my eyelashes are horrible. Well, mine weren't great either. That's why I did this, and yeah. I like it. But note to self: when I'm mascara. When I wake up, I look pretty. You know, my hair looks pretty. My yeah. My skin looks pretty, my right. eyes look pretty, it's very important. <laughs> if I was going to be in front of the camera the whole time, I would want to make sure, I mean, this is why. I no, I want to wake up looking pretty, I that's do, very important. I only do the odd Facebook Live, so I don't need to worry about it as much, I think. The, but yeah, no, I mean, waking up looking, when you're a single lady no, but in I, particular, you, know, I, you, I wanna, have, you definitely want to wake right. up looking pretty. But I have the same foundation, same blush, same lipstick, and I work, I work with colors that enhance my face. So I'm not going to okay. do like a purple shadow or brown. Basically, I use this color, it's my new color, it's um, Pigment Tan by MAC. No, it's, I really like it. It's good. You I guys might all be able to, it's a lovely bronzy, coppery shade. It's shimmery. It's kind of young yeah. and hip, but yeah, it's subtle, but yet it makes a statement. Yeah, I like it. I a use lot. the Anastasia pencil because I don't have great eyebrows because I over plucked them when I was young. But I think I, I did it myself pretty darn good. Yeah, it looks good. You're working right? the brow. Yeah. So, so, yeah, the blush, NARS. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Orgasm Blush. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's a, good, it's a good one for NARS. Is that what drew you to it? Was the name? Was no, it? my makeup artist, Katie, told me to use it. And in t Okay, so. Moving beyond makeup, how do you feel on the whole plastic surgery argument? Are you kind of like, fine, women can do what they want to do? Yeah, you know, I, I, I believe women should do what they're comfortable doing, okay. but, but I believe put off, I like, I believe putting off plastic surgery as long as possible. That's why um, sunblock is very important. In fact, they do a fabulous sunblock um, of number 50, which is fabulous. Because um, you have to have sunblock every day, and women forget to put it even on their neck and their chest because age, sp those spots, mm -hmm. which this will help. And you um, don't want to get like leather handbag chest mm -hmm, where it's, mm -hmm. you know, that's you have to protect it. And then, and you need to, uh, so to stay young, it's about eating healthy, which I do, um, working out, which I do, using sunblock, which I do, and using a good sk skin regimen. So this basically will last you 30 days, no, 60 days, and, okay. it's a, and it's an automatic refill if you're a preferred customer. Okay. And they'll ship it to you every 60 days. And if you don't like it, you ship it back and you get your money back. And also drinking water with your wine. Oh, oh you need lots of water. Do we have a question? Um, Jenna says, what advice would Ramona give to a 23-year-old struggling with anxiety issues and just wants to be successful but feels like her life is over? Okay, you're Jenna. 23. Um, I need something more specific. What is she anxious about? How can your life be over at 23? It's just beginning. I think she's putting... Jenna, you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Um, you need to live in the moment because when you put so much pressure on yourself about what will be, what will be, you're not, you're missing opportunities of right here and now. So I, my advice to you now is to say, okay, I'm going to listen to Ramona and for the next six months until it's October 1, I am just going to take each day as it comes and be positive about it and not stress and then things should work out. And also, I believe in um, when you think and meditate, if you're positive, things would happen for you. So let's just say you're looking, I don't know what you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for the ideal man for me, the ideal mate. So every morning when I wake up, I, am, I imagine that I'm gonna have this ideal mate for me. And I just go, go over my head exactly what he's gonna look like, be like, characteristics, because then he'll come to me. And positive energy creates positive results. And if you're gonna be negative, you're not, nothing good is gonna happen to you. So. That's my advice. Think positively, Jenna. Yeah, another question. Um, a lot of people are very interested in a dating life, including Audrey, who said, have you got a fella yet, and can you dish any gossip on who you're dating? Other than the man in the restaurant that she, you know. Well, he's coming back in September, so I hope. Excellent. That. And he has your number, so. Yes. And I actually, he gave me his card, which I didn't realize. Okay. Okay, so, um, oh, am I dating anyone special? No, I'm just dating. Um, for instance, I'm going to Nantucket. I met a really lovely man when I was there, and I will see him when I'm there, but um, I'm staying with my friends, so I will date him there. Um, I went on a lovely date last night, went down and had a wonderful dinner downtown at a great restaurant. Um, I'm having a date tonight. We're going to go somewhere eat out. I, I'm dating. I'm having and how do, you, dating. how do you meet all of these guys? Like you have a different day every night. I'm so impressed. What, where are you picking these men up? My girlfriend say I'm a male magnet. I don't know. You tell me. A male? How do I become a male magnet? You have to have a big smile on your face. I have to wear more mascara. That's, that's well, the key. I, I need eyelash extensions and then the men, they will come. Well, I'm not really <laughs> big on the hair up. I think it's kind of sexier down. Can, can I see your hair down or you don't want to take it down? I can't take it. Because it's dirty right basically, now. Basically, it's, yeah, it's not okay, my so fight. You know, I'm a little bit sick. I'm not living my best life i apologize facebook fans right, next so, time okay. it will be down but see that's the one thing you have to walk out every day looking good okay Sorry. so no you, you have to i mean you're only 20 years old what are you doing here i don't i don't know I mean, it's not like you're married with three babies and you know no and even then no, even the married. husband rub it in oh my god no because a lot of <laughs> I don't but even, a man. but oh, even married three babies still look good oh, no god. you have the most gorgeous eyes no i just don't like I, your hair up 
Okay. What else? I don't oh know. Oh my god! No. Right. Our next question. Okay. No. Yeah, I, I can address question. you. Jenny wants to know which housewife has the worst bad habits and what are they? I don't know. Why. The worst bad habits. Oh, oh, probably Luann because she can never keep herself straight on what she says and doesn't say because she tends to tell little fibs, oh, but then indeed. she gets caught and then she changes her mind and she changes she, like, the story. She which lies she's told which people and right. Well, fibs, little fibs. fibs. I, I don't want to say lies. You think Exaggerations. Fibs, fibs isn't nice words. You know, like she'll first say, like she'll first say, okay, I'll just go back to Tom because it's such an easy thing. Oh, Tom and I've been dating for a long time. We started dating, and then she says later on, oh no, our first date was in December. But you know, uh -huh. yeah, I was gonna say she told me that they. Well, I think she said that they had been dating longer than that. November, I think, was what she said. So right. I guess, yeah. 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 But I'm just saying, you know, whatever. But she makes up, you know, little stories. But that makes her, you know, so she doesn't, she can't keep track. Is it fun though when you bust her on it? When you're like, uh, actually, like that, you must get a little bit of satisfaction. I don't get satisfaction. I just think, you know, it takes too much effort to not tell the truth. I mean, listen, I mean, I may get in trouble because I'm unfiltered and I say it like it is, but I don't say it to be vicious or mean. And I don't, I don't know why she has to, you know, say one thing when it's really something else. I mean, I don't know right. if it's insecurity. I don't know if it's um, low self esteem. I don't know if she, I, I don't know, really know. Maybe okay. you could answer that question. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, we all have self-esteem issues, I think. So maybe that, maybe you're right. Maybe that's it. Another question? Um, Catherine wants to know, where is Jill Zarin and what is she doing now? Is she still desperate to be on the show? Um, you know, Jill's really mellowed out a lot. I think in times of hardship, people tend to become kinder. Um, her husband, Bobby's had a lot of health issues. And I actually ran into her at a party and she looked good and she seemed happy. And as far as being on the show, I don't know if she's desperate for that or not. I mean, maybe you'd know better than me. I have no idea. I, think, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a part of the show, really? I don't know. I mean, do you think every? I mean, do you think it's I a good thing? It. I'd love to get involved in that. Really? In that gang. Yeah. We, we are looking for a new housewife. Yeah, but as you have already mentioned, I have no husband or children, so I don't know if I qualify. Do you have a boyfriend, a living boyfriend? No, no, Ramona. I don't. I have no man, Ramona. Not, not a single man. Let's bring it. Right. Well, what do you do after work? Where do you go? Are you going I go out? out? Yeah, I mean, I Where? go out and have fun. Where? To places near work. Are you making Are you making eye contact with men? That's the I biggest mean, thing. Okay. 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 Let's say Let's say that's a, Let's say you're a guy I want to meet. Okay. And let's say I'm talking to you here. Okay. So, so, so all I have to do is, like, as I'm talking here, smiling, turn to you, and go like this, and then turn back and trust me, you'll come right over within. My, I've, I mean, I that was my old rule, and it's working all over again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. All of my friends that are watching, we need to go out tonight after I've washed my hair and put more mascara on so that I can try this tactic. Yeah. Next, next question. Um, Kristen wants to know, what's your best tummy exercise? Oh. Oh, my best tummy exercise? You've got a good tummy as well. Well, I'm trying like to get it better. Flat. Planks. I do planks. I, so on my elbows, I put my legs on a BOCI ball, which is raised about like six inches off, and I hold it for a minute. I do it three times. Or again, a plank position that's called in out, where you take your legs. One, I do 40 sets of ease, all for the core. Okay. But you know, it is what it is. You it's know, one I learned the other day, which is also mm -hmm. good for people unlike me who have boyfriends. If you plank on your elbows and then you put your hips down and up, and that really works the abs. Well, I usually do that with the straps or something. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Anything, and then the the a big round ball, you roll on it. Okay. Um, and oh, the V's. You take weights in your hand. You do the V's. Okay. So right. those are all great for your stomach. And do you train with a trainer or do you just yeah, train I tra with I, No, um, I now train with a trainer twice a week. Like she's okay. like, you know, cut my arms up really good. Well, your, your arms are looking very trim and toned. Look at that, look at the muscle, muscle that you've got working on there. It's nice. Yeah, tricep. Yeah. Tricep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, we have more questions. Nicole wants to know, how accurate would you say each of the ladies are portrayed on The Real Housewives of New York? That's an excellent question. Well done, Nicole. We like it. Wow, you're a smart girl. You want to be a... Uh, do one you of my consultants? Do you, do you, you no. Do you want to be a consultant? <laughs> do you want to be on Team Ramona here with Ronan Ronan and Fields? Um, basically, we film for a long period of time, and of course, um, the producers decide what parts will make it or not. And so, obviously, they're going to pick the parts that are more dramatic than right. that are softer. So, you're seeing a, a glimpse of us. Is it is it made up or manufactured? No. But is our total package? No. I mean, I remember my daughter after the first siege. She says, "Mom, why are you like so?" out there all the time and, and so feisty. That's not how you really are all the time. And I'm like, well, you know, what can I tell you? That's what they want to show. Well, I guess feisty, like, you know, they want feisty Ramona, don't they? Because you mm -hmm. shake things up. And like you said, you say it like it is. Right. And that makes that, you know, it's makes good people TV. have reactions. Yeah. And that's what it's about. Well, and I guess the fact that you know that is good because you get some 
reality stars who are kind of like, well, like, oh, they portrayed me in such a bad way. I guess you know. No, I own it. I, I mean, sometimes, you know, I mean, I'm not happy with certain situations because I'll say, well, wait a second. Like, I, I'll go back to this one part where the first season where Simon shows up at Jill's apartment mm -hmm. and Bethany's cooking. And um, I'm like, You're, why are you here? It's, 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 it's just a girl's party. And I was like, kind of really like not nice to him. But then they didn't show it on camera, but I went over and go, hi, let me reintroduce you okay. to myself. I'm Ramona and I have a wonderful martini for you. Aww. And I like to say hello and welcome, you know. Now they didn't really show that part. What better welcome than with a martini. Right, father. so they never showed that. But that was their decision. But did I, was I still a little mean to him in the beginning? Yeah, because I was angry. I left my family home in the rain and had I knew there would be a got men there, I would have brought my husband at the time there, you know, because okay. yeah. I was looking forward to a girl's time because when, guys are around, it changes the dynamics yeah. tremendously. Oh, we've got another question. Um, these are two very specific questions. Amy okay. wants to know, do you really like Jules or is she cray cray? And Heidi would like to know, do you really like Bethany? Um, I do like Jules. You know, I, I look at um, the good in everybody and I actually knew Jules before she even did the show. Jules has um, a really warm energy. She has always a big smile on her face. Is she a little quirky? Yeah. Am I a little quirky? Yeah. I mean, listen, to be totally normal is boring. Um, as far as Bethany, Bethany and I really do have a true friendship now. Um, I think I, because I understand her better, I'm more patient with her and I don't get um, so, I don't use a word like, I make up words like for tootsie about her. I don't get like annoyed by her. I don't, I just, I know where she's coming from. So okay. she may uh, make fun of me and it may be kind of, um, a little sarcastic and maybe hit below the belt, but I know where she's coming from. She doesn't really mean to be vicious. That's just her humor. Okay. Whereas someone, let's say Jules, will take it. Um, like really personally and. Yeah, really personally, which actually is going to be something um, coming up maybe next week where you're going to see Jules approaches Bethany and basically says, listen, I feel like your humor is at my, at other people's expense and I don't find it funny. Okay. And you're going to see a whole big discussion. About I'm sure that goes down really well with Bethany. Well, you shall have to watch and see. <laughs> and so if you were to pick of all the housewives, is there one, if it was just going to be the two of you, for example, doing a show, who would you pick to do it with you? Wow, that's, that's a really good question. It'd be a tie, I think, between uh, Bethany and Sonia. How come? I mean, that's an interesting, the fact that you've chosen those two. Is that because you have the alcohol bond between the three of you? Or? No, it has nothing to do with alcohol bond. They're just both strong women that aren't afraid to say it like it is, and they both like to have fun. Okay. Um, I think because Bethany and I really understand each other now, we're in a different place where we've never been before. And Sonia, we have our ups and downs, but you know, she always makes me laugh. And um, I like to do it with the three of them, maybe. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that would be them. good, the three of you. That would be great. Yeah, another question? Karen says, hi from the UK. Ramona, who is your inspiration? Ooh. Who is my inspiration? That's a good question. I know, I think Barbara Walters. She really stepped out of the box at as, as a young age. She was a reporter and, um, interviewed Castro in Cuba. Um, she is an amazing woman. So I would say her, Barbara Walters. Nice. Oh, another question? Um, Je sorry. Janine says, Ramona, how do I become a housewife? And Lindsay wants to know, where is your dress that you're wearing from? The dress that I'm wearing from is from a company called Feel the Peace. They do beautiful knits. Most of the tops I wear with my jeans are from them. And this is just a great dress because um, it's very comfortable and it's so hot in New York. So you can wear it to the beach or walk down the city streets with it. Feel the Peace. Nice. And what was the other question? How oh. How do I become a housewife? How does she become? You need a, you need a husband <laughs> or a living boyfriend. <laughs> I know this one. But I mean, how, how would, like, how do you go about recruiting for new housewives? Well, usually it's from the people we know. Um, okay. I, I recruited Dorinda because I knew her. Yep. She recruited Jules because she knew her and I also knew her. Um, that's usually how it works. Okay. It's, it's through our, our, our friends. Through your, like, social connections. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. You need to make friends with Ramona. <laughs> yeah, another question? John wants to know, what is your favorite bar, lounge, or club in New York? And I think I get the impression it might be because he wants to bump into you. He wants to buy you a bottle of wine too, huh? Oh. Um, well, if, I'm, if I want to stay in the hood, I go to T-Bar. Um, if I want to um, just go somewhere kind of chic and nice in the area, I like going to the Mark Hotel. Nice. Um, if I'm in the mood to go downtown for more adventure, I'll go to Zuma upstairs or um, Nomad Hotel. Nice. Kristen wants to know, how do you balance your career while raising a small child? Do you have a nanny at all? I'm sorry, say that again. 
How do you balance your career while raising a child? Do you have a nanny at all? Well, I was very fortunate because my career was um, where I would buy excess inventory and resell to major and minor discount stores. So I could work anywhere, any place, any time. So um, if my daughter had a ballet recital, I could go. If she had a birthday party, I could go. I could make my own hours. So that was good. Did I have a live-in nanny? Yes, because I didn't want to feel trapped. I have so much energy. Um, I didn't want to know that I'd have to um, be there 24-7, but um, I was always very hands-on with my daughter, and that's why we have such a close bond. And I was fortunate enough to make enough money where I could afford someone to actually, she lived in, because that way I could, if I wanted to go out, I could right. go out. You can go and meet the man in the... No, this is what make I'm married. Oh, okay. My husband, my okay. ex-husband for dinner. Okay. Yeah, another question. Lisa wants to know, Ramona, do you think Leanna's a snake? Ooh. Oh, that's Lisa. Wow. Wow. Um, I think what Luann is, is she's a little narcissistic, and she's selfish, and she's all about Luann. I'm the type of person, whether people believe it or not, I know I care about people's feelings. I mean, right. Bethany even said, oh my God, when I was sick, Ramona called me or texted me every day for six weeks. If you're my friend, I am so there for you. I'll right. do anything for you. And same thing, Dorinda will say when her husband died, I was so there for her. Um, and I, I just don't think Luann is that kind of a person that right. she, Luann's for Luann. And that's okay, as long as you understand it. Yeah, well, I mean, if, as long as she owns it, then what are you going to do? You know? I don't know if she owns it, but that's <laughs> what I think. Yeah, another question. Yeah. And I'm usually right, so there you go. <laughs> you had or I'll say, I'll say, like Bethany says, I'm always right. I'm a know-it-all. I mean, w what better way to be? <laughs> yeah, another question. Brianna says, how does it make you feel when people put the show down? You know what? It does. It makes me feel kind of bad. Um, I have a daughter, and I like to be respected. And you know what? The show is its my business. That is part of who I am and what I am. And... Um, yeah, it, it's, you know, it, it makes me feel bad because, you know, I like to think, I'm, I'm proud of what I do and I enjoy doing the show and, you know what, it's, it's a comic relief for a lot of people. So if they put it down, I guess that's their problem, not my problem, but I wish they wouldn't. Would there be anything, like what, what would need to happen in order for you to kind of say, I don't want to do this anymore? When I don't have fun doing it. Okay. Always in life, and I tell my daughter and any young woman or young man, you have to do what you love when it comes to business. And I love doing the show. So as, as long as I continue to love doing it, I'll do it. Once I don't love it, I'll stop doing it. Okay, that's good. I mean, that's a good philosophy to have. Do we have any more questions? If you had to join a different Real Housewives cast, which one would it be? Nice, I like that question. Listen, I'm sorry. New York's New York. I can't imagine being anywhere else, to tell you the truth. Do you think they're going to keep popping up in different places? Because, you know, it's obviously... Well, I know, like well you know what, I mean... The franchise is very successful. Um, I know I, I went to Auckland to help launch the uh, new Bravo Network in Auckland, okay. New Zealand. Yeah. And they have the Auckland Housewives now, and they have the Australian Housewives. Um, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal franchise. I mean, I'm getting recognized. I, mean, I never used to think I was really famous, but then I have this um, manager now who used to work for me years ago. It's just Ramona. I didn't realize that because I just think he was Ramona, but you are really famous. I go, yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. But I just, I just consider myself Ramona. You're just like, you're I'm like just I'm just Ramona. Ramona from the block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that the end of the questions? Are we? Yeah, last question. Okay. One that a lot of people are asking, which is, where is the wine on sale? Oh, and okay. Good question. It? Um, it retails for twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine a box. It's four cans, which equal um, a bottle and a half of wine, like a like it comes in the bottles. That's and a bargain for a good rosé. In New York, New Jersey, um, we just started it a few months ago. I mean, I could actually put out the list of the stores. I have the list, but I can't, I don't remember them offhand, but I have the list of like 100 stores it's available with in New Jersey, New York, and I could post it on my, on some, one of my sites. Well, and also like the thing that I very much enjoy about it is it's nice and subtle. You know, you're not going to get, you're not going to look like a crazy person if you're walking down the street holding one of these or on the a summer's afternoon. Or the great beach thing. The beach, by yeah. By the pool. And it just looks like an energy drink. So if you don't yeah. want people to openly know that you're swigging some delicious rosé, it's a very subtle way to do or it. Or Pinot Grigio. Or, or Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon yeah. Blanc any one of the three delicious wines. But the rosé is going down very nicely. Just As it should. Don't tell my boss that I'm here drinking at 4 p.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. I and for love sharing all of that housewives gossip with us. Am it's I going to get in trouble with anything I said, you think? No, I, I mean, okay. as you said, you tell it like it is. And at least you know exactly what's gone out here. I guess with the housewives stuff, when they edit it, you're like, who knows what's going to show and who, you know, what's not. Yeah. So Luann, if you're watching, Ramona meant all of it. Um, <laughs> 
but make sure. No, I like Luann. She, you know, it just Luann gets too. Def I like Luann. Just there's a parts of her that I. You know, I like everybody. You know, I'm easygoing at this point yeah. in my life. Because you know what? Life. Listen, I could be dead of cancer tomorrow. Why should I get stressed over people? No, I, I don't mean it that way. But I mean people should take themselves lighter and easier. And that's why I say to these women, can you just get along? I mean, yeah. really? Just I mean, take a breath. Did Carol really have to say, Luann, you can't come on the trip? I mean, really? Really, Carol? I mean, really? Really, Carol? Well, everyone watching, make sure that you like the Daily Mail Facebook page. I don't know where the like button is, where we are right now. But make sure you like it because we have plenty more Facebook Live action. No doubt Ramona will be back soon Absolutely. to join us. Maybe next time she can actually give me a makeover when I've actually washed my hair. Um, and yeah, we will see. You skincare regimen. You could do all make things. Even, I mean, you do have nice skin, but let's be honest, we better. need all the work, so don't we? Here, let's not, let's even not lie. It can, I, there's always room for improvement. I was going to say that. <laughs> but thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We will see you again very soon and enjoy your weekend. Bye.